welcome welcome back to comfort budgets it's Brittany here and it has been a good long while I don't really have excuses I only really have reflections if you're new here hi I'm Brittany um, I have been doing cash stuffing now for a little over a year but if you look back my last video I don't think I don't think I've uploaded a video since January of 2023 so it's been over a year I did upload on TikTok a couple of times but it is true when I say I had truly fallen off the wagon this year and what I realized is it is so much easier for me to stay on the wagon when I have a lot of money coming in but when I'm really making some tough financial decisions it was more difficult for me so I'm really excited to have you here and to join me on my journey of getting back on track Here's the thing, I am wanting this to be a completely safe space where we can let go of the shame that is holding us back when it comes to money. So I'm going to be sharing with you what is going to be a lot of progress. I am claiming it right now. We are going to be shocked when we look at this year, this time compared to January 2025. And today I wanted to take a moment and go through my five cash envelopes and or five cash wallets and how I use each one. Now, if you're you've never seen a, a video of mine before or whatnot, I am a fake money cash stuffer. So uh, basically I use um, fake money like this. It looks very real. I, I think it's important to me that it looks real, but you can see here it says copy money. Um, I use fake money uh, to represent all the real money in my bank account. And so even though when I'm looking in my bank account and I see, for example, it says, you know, um, $1,000, I know each of those dollars has a job, but it still offers me the convenience of using my debit card. So that's how I do things. And today I wanna take you through each of my cash binders and show you how I use them. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's start with this guy right here. This is my main wallet, cash wallet. This is the one I go to quite often. Um, so this would be the one that if I did use real money and I was going to the store or something, this is the wallet that I would carry. So first and foremost is food. I live with my um, boyfriend and we actually split grocery costs, but this is like if I want to order something, um, to, we're going out to eat or I'm picking up something that is specifically like for me or something that I really want to try, I will take it out of this food budget. The next category is gas. This is pretty self-explanatory. Gas is just what I use to put gas in my car. And this year, I think what I'm going to do is roll over any gas money and put it into my car fund. Let me know if you guys do anything like that because a lot of times I just like stuff all of my money, like keep it building up, but I think I want to like give it another job. Anyways, uh, pet care, this is like, dog food um you know like what you would have monthly pet costs that's what i use this for so if we're like grooming the dogs um or getting their dog food order or like a bark box or something like that it would be in here personal so this is the money i am giving myself uh to spend throughout the month really no questions asked the fun thing about this is that I'm actually doing a no buy year. So in a lot of past videos, I would use my personal, I'd go to Target or go to TJ Maxx and buy a lot of stuff. I am not doing that this year. So I'm really interested to see what I end up doing with my personal budget. Um, coffee. So this used to be for Starbucks. I am no longer going to Starbucks. I am boycotting indefinitely actually in perpetuity and we know why but for coffee i have been supporting local coffee shops but for my no buy this year i'm doing a bonus challenge every month and my bonus challenge this month is to not get coffee while i'm out um so with that in mind i am going to be using this budget to actually buy my nespresso pods so right now 25 dollars, which is great um we love our nespresso it makes great coffee at home but that's kind of where this budget is clothing um clothing i will use obviously for any clothes i have made it a point to not buy any clothes this year so um after 
this video i'm uploading a cash stuffing video uh and you guys will be able to see me stuff but the reason there's money in here uh is twofold one before the end of um last year i ended up doing a couple of orders um i ordered some shoes for my business photo shoot coming up and a few other things that i wanted to have um so i use a lot of paypal pay and for so this is the money to cover that and in the future i will use this mainly for, for alterations because I'm not allowing myself to buy any uh, clothes. Okay. <laughs> uh, beauty. This is for anything beauty related, including beauty treatments or like, um, like I need new skincare or I've run out of mascara or something. So that is the beauty budget. Toiletries, exactly what it sounds like. This is like deodorant, soap, toothpaste, floss sticks, things like that. I'm actually in really good shape on all of that right now, but I like to make sure I have just a little bit of my budget allocated to that. And then miscellaneous, this is when something like accidentally goes over. Right now my budget is super tight, you guys. Like the holidays really, the holidays did a number on me. My full-time job didn't do bonuses I feel like Clark Griswold you know I was really counting on that bonus and so I am lucky enough that we were still able to have a great holiday but I really need to tighten up my spending and just make sure like I'm really focused this year the next category is the one that we all need and maybe we don't love it but we need it and that is our bill category so let me share with you guys this one so the first category is bill. I don't know why it doesn't say bills. I don't know. Anyways, I got these stickers from a set on Amazon. I was like, whatever. I just make them work as you will see. Um, and I think I have like a uh, link tree that I'll drop below so you guys can check stuff out. But truly in the spirit of my no buy and in the spirit of like, Tr saving money I got the cheapest ones I could find of these when I first started I tried to get the cheapest versions of everything because it truly it does not matter so I'll link them below but don't feel any pressure to buy these particular things I have no real allegiance to any particular brand um, but this category I actually treat as my like joint bills I mentioned earlier that me and my partner we uh, you know we have a split bill category and so luckily i'm a little ahead on this right now thank god so this has our bills for like our mortgage our internet bill our grocery bill our, our savings in case something goes wrong with the house like anything like that so that's what this category is household um just a little bit more like off the cuff kind of thing like oh we realized that we needed like an outdoor bug spray or something like that but you know we're really trying to cut back both of us in spending so but that's normally what this category is so subscription so these are all of my subscription services and it usually has a lot of money in here but i have subscriptions for my peloton also any movie subscriptions my youtube premium subscription oh any like data or storage subscriptions all of that is included in here um so i will continue to try and bring down these subscriptions but that's what this category is insurance kids once again they didn't just have an insurance category but this is for any insurance related expense right now it's for my car insurance and my dogs my dog's health insurance my dog insurance my pet insurance that's what it's called uh, for my dog apple credit card so this is for my apple credit card <laughs> it's for my payment basically right now i am trying to pay this one off you will see i am doing a really big payoff journey this year so i am paying this off hopefully this month is my goal chase this is these little post-its um those are old because i haven't been doing this but chase is my credit card payment for chase once again we're going to be doing kind of like a debt snowball so once we pay this one off then we'll go to this one care credit this is actually a credit card that you can finance health care charges on so this month i will be paying this off i had some pretty intense dental work done earlier and this is the last payment for this really excited this used to be a 
envelope for my coaching business, but I have since <laughs> gotten my finances like a big girl job. And so I'm a life coach, if you guys didn't know. Um, so now I actually think this might turn into like a special event, maybe even a wedding savings later on. Uh, me and my boyfriend have been talking about that um like we might get engaged this year so anyways obviously i'm not doing a big wedding i'm older it's not something i'm interested in but i do want to make sure i start saving for like his ring and stuff like that because we'll probably just do like a courthouse situation but yeah school debt it's student loans and i it, it, i'm depresso espresso that this never got taken care of <laughs> but not only do I have my student loan, but my mom has a student loan in her name for me and I pay that as well. My cell phone, I use Mint Mobile. This is actually one thing I'm super passionate about. I have had one, two, three people, yeah, three people in my life who I know personally get Mint Mobile. Um, I got my boyfriend on board and I got my brother on board. Um, it's so cheap, you guys. Like, I ended up you have to like bring a phone in but it's $30 a month which is so inexpensive so I don't pay until October and I got a referral fee because my boyfriend joined and I got a hundred dollars off or ninety dollars off so I'll drop my link below because I think you also get three months free which is ninety dollars off anyways that is one thing or if you know someone who has it you know ask them for their code so that you guys can both get it um spread the wealth amongst your family and friends but like i promise y'all like it is so worth it okay this is a sorry i'm going too fast this is a budget binder that i bought on etsy i thought it was really really cute i love horror movies i really like scream Ghostface. very fun so i use this as my high priority budget, uh, high priority sinking funds. So Christmas, we just had Christmas, but this is any Christmas related expenses. In the past, it would be decorations sometimes, but like wrapping paper, all that good stuff. But you know, with my no buy, this is gonna cover gifts and food for Christmas. And obviously I have 12 months, so gonna really <laughs> take my time with that one. Gifts, this I, gift giving is a huge part of my love language. So this is birthdays, holidays, just because gifts. So Easter baskets, if I do that or things like that. So pet fund. So this is like the long term pet savings. It's different from my pet care folder because I imagine that money, this, the money in here, I imagine this is getting depleted every month. So like there's rarely anything left over and that's okay, that's how I planned it. But in this binder, I actually don't intend on digging into this very frequently at all. And so pet fund is like, for their annual shots. Also, you know, you have to get them like their different Simperica and things like that. So we have two dogs. And so this is my contribution to that. Home maintenance. So this used to be like any like home thing that could go wrong. <laughs> but I will tell you the nice thing about this is we actually started saving together for this. So I don't have anything here, but I may repurpose this. Also like how fun is this like shimmery? I love it. I love it. They killed it. Car maintenance. This is for my car that, you know, anything from an oil change to any more serious work that needs to get done. Knock on wood. Hopefully none of that coming up. Annual fund. So this is anything I pay for on an annual basis. So I'm thinking like my taxes, the fee to pay my taxes. I mean, the fee to get stickers on my car, like those annual things that you can kind of forget about, but they still got to get paid for, you know, vacation, any kind of vacation type thing that's what this category is for tech fund so this is kind of my general savings because I'm just trying to like plan, trying to like plan ahead that I know everything has like a lifespan so if something breaks down or anything like having this fund to get it fixed is priority one and then priority two is like if I can't get it fixed buying a new one but I'm not buying any tech this year knock on wood medical so this is like co-pays hospital expenses if i ever need it medicine anything 
medicinal, medical related. And health, I think of this as like health and fitness. I mainly use this category now for my personal training app, which is Copilot. And I, you guys, like I have not consistently worked out in years and I mean that like years the last time was probably in like 2015 when I was doing this like kickboxing program but ever since I started co-pilot I am in my sixth week of working out twice a week and doing an hour-long workout like I'm so proud of myself I'll drop the link below you can get a whole month free and you get like an actual personal trainer in your pocket so anyways that is my high priority savings okay this is low priority savings so these are just things they're like nice to haves but not need to haves so entertainment like if I want to go to the movies or if I want to buy a game for my VR or if I want to rent a movie uh, to watch at home that's that family family is one that I'm just trying to put in like ten dollars every paycheck in case someone needs something I have a little bit of money to give them date night exactly what it sounds like if Madison and I ever want to go on a date he and I can use this money but honestly I don't know y'all I'm not a big date night person when it's cold <laughs> so I think we're good splurge uh this category is like oh if I get to like you know just spend this money on whatever I want I'm really trying to get away from this habit this year so there's that's what it is though. Home decor, really self-explanatory, anything that's like home decor wise. Once again, this is in my no buy category, so this shouldn't be getting any money this year. And then, oh shit, this is just like, oh shit, I went over. So you can also think about this category as like a buffer for your account, like especially when you're starting. If I can give one piece of advice, it's that please make sure you have a buffer because it took me a really long time to get a true understanding of how I was spending and what all my bills were. And, oh yes you're next um and honestly it still does so having that is really important to me <sighs> okay and then finally this is my savings binder so i got this last year i think i called her big money betty and i was so excited but when i tell you guys like she has taken a beating this last half of the year i i really mean it like i really struggled this year um just trying to make sure everything was paid and like taken care of and like i just don't want to feel how I'm feeling right now next year at all. So savings, I'm gonna do this $2,000 savings challenge. My goal, I started it and you can see I did most of it, but now I'm starting over. So um, this one is $2,000 and I'm really hoping to have this completed like early on in the year. Emergency fund, this fund is still looking pretty good. So this is like emergency if anything comes up this year that's where i will be looking to and then this is a savings challenge a five thousand dollar savings challenge it was just on my to-do list last year i never started it but i would love to start it this year my goal is to do the two thousand dollar savings challenge and then move on to this one and then finally in here we have investments so this investments category is like i do investments through m1 which you can buy stocks on um and just also general long-term savings investments oh and finally there's a renovations category which i i can't even think about right now i can't even think about it <laughs> That's why it's in the back of the last binder because I can't even think about it. But all right, guys, so those are all of my categories. Here they are in the order that I stuffed them. And I really hope that you will join me on this journey to get back on track. If you are also trying to get back on track, like, let me just say, I hear you. I'm here for you. I believe in you. And we can do this. Like, we can do this. Just don't give up on yourself. Okay. <sighs> Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.